Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna to be doing a nice chair yoga routine, which is excellent for helping with posture and relieving the body, especially if you find yourself sitting behind a desk or in your car for long periods of the day. Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be doing a nice chair yoga routine, which is excellent for helping with posture and relieving the body, especially if you find yourself sitting behind a desk or in your car for long periods of the day. This is a great way to bring ease and relaxation. We're gonna bring a little bit of looseness and fluidity in the body so that our spine can decompress and find alignment so that we can sleep better and wake up feeling refreshed. So the first thing that we wanna do is find a comfortable chair and you wanna make sure you can sit nice and upright comfortably in this chair so you're not sinking too much into it so that you can perform these movements with me with ease. You also wanna make sure the chair is on a nice flat surface. I have mine here on the yoga mat so that it doesn't move and we're going to just take some time to begin in a seated position. And what I want you to do is find a comfortable seat in the chair, even allow yourself to relax back if necessary, breathing in nice and deep. And let yourself feel supported by this chair and at ease, whatever way that means for you. Maybe you tilt your head back. Maybe you kick your leg up. Just find a comfortable place Closing the eyes and taking a nice deep breath. Allowing that body to just feel supported and at ease. Now I want you to begin to position yourself slightly so that your hips are more underneath your shoulders. You can still tilt back in the chair a little bit, but I want you to sit a little more upright. So if you need to scooch back and find that nice straight seated position, do so right now. Bring your feet wherever it's comfortable, but we wanna stay upright because we're gonna take another couple deep breaths here just to prepare our body to relax into ease in this flow. And then we're gonna go ahead and tilt our ear to one shoulder. Let yourself sink into that. Maybe tilt the head up and down and just feel where your body or your neck needs it most. And then with a big inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release to the other side, letting gravity take its course. And again, maybe tilting the head or moving the head side to side, finding the space in your neck that feels like it could use the stretch most. And then we're gonna now take this with our breath. So inhale, exhale, tilting to the side, relaxing our shoulders away from our ears, maybe bringing our hands now to the thighs, feet under the knees, inhale, exhale to the other side beginning to straighten our posture a little more. Still being supported by the chair, but with each breath now, inhale to the center, tilt to the side, and then maybe exhale gently, rolling that chin downward and up to the other side. Roll it down with the exhale, inhale up to the other side, working a little bit more mobility into our neck, relaxing those shoulders down. And now lifting yourself off the back of the chair, if you're leaning there, scooch forward and begin to move your body this way too. Bending at the hips. Now we're moving the body up to one side, 
down towards the front, up to the other, loosening our hips and waking up our spinal column with the breath, inhaling up, exhale as you move down. Now go ahead and bring one hand to the side of the chair for support and raise that arm up and over, giving ourselves a nice side stretch. Make sure those shoulders are down so we're not shrugging it up, just keep them down. And all you're doing is bringing this arm overhead and tilting to one side. Exhale, come to center. Inhale, other side. You're also welcome to put the hand on the knee if you don't have space to hold to the chair. Just nice fluid inhales and exhales. Good. Let's go ahead and do two more on each side. Wonderful. Now from here, take those arms up, inhale. Make sure those feet are right underneath your knees, your heels. We're gonna scooch forward just a little bit towards the edge of our chair so we're nice and upright. And as we exhale, bring ourselves to a twist, bringing the opposite hand to the outside of the knee. This back arm is holding on to the back of the chair for support, and you're just sitting nice and tall, bringing your gaze behind you as far as it feels comfortable for your neck and eyes. Take a deep breath here. Then inhale those arms up. Nice and tall, exhale, twist to the other side. Sitting nice and tall. Another deep breath, inhale. We're gonna twist to each side again one more time, waking up the body, waking up the spine, decompressing. And inhale. Other side. From here, we're gonna inhale our arms up back to center. Exhale and back down. We're going to lift one ankle above our knee. Now I want you to put this hand in front of the ankle, hand in front of the knee, lift your chest up nice and tall. Now for many of you, you might feel a good stretch just right here. You'll feel that stretch here in the low leg, maybe in the back and shoulders. Bring those shoulders back and down, lift. If you can begin to open this knee to be more parallel to the floor, you can do that gently and then lift and begin to bend forward, maintaining a nice straight back. And you will feel that stretch deepen in the lower leg here into the glute, maybe into the back a little bit, but keeping those shoulders peeled down. Just bend as far as it feels comfortable for you. And we're gonna take a couple deep breaths here. Allow yourself to sink into this fold as much as it feels comfortable. And then after your third deep breath, we're gonna gently rise up and switch our legs. And this is gonna allow us to really open up the glutes and the hips even, a little bit of our lower leg hamstring, lower back, keeping that back nice and straight. And this loosens a lot of the low back. And if the low back is tight and we can loosen that, it loosens the rest of the back. So the muscles and the whole body is entirely connected. So breathe nice and deep and really focus on allowing yourself to sink into this pose, what feels comfortable. Sometimes if you can get deep enough, you can begin to relax your hands over your leg and just allow yourself to be comfortable here for a few deep breaths. When you're ready, we're gonna lay ourselves, let ourselves up nice and gentle. Go ahead and reach those legs out, give them a nice stretch. And we're gonna scooch ourselves up nice and tall, inhale those arms. Exhale, forward fold, and take a nice child's pose. Now from here, you can collapse your arms or grasp them behind the legs, bringing your head down in between your knees. You're also welcome to bring those arms behind you, clasp them if it feels nice, and extend, lifting the arms up. Or you're welcome to allow your hands to sink down or hug them in front of you. 
Inhale your breath nice and deep, allowing your back to round. And when you breathe in, feel your back expand. Exhale. Let yourself sink lower and allow yourself to relax. Maybe taking another inhale in. Exhale out. Let that head relax. Let gravity take over. Maybe shake your head side to side. Now we're going to gently inhale those arms up. Exhale. Sink them down. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to wake ourselves up by standing up. We're going to turn this chair around and you want to make sure it's nice and stabilized. We're going to walk ourselves out, bending at the waist, and then just bending at the knees, stretch those arms down, opening the chest. Letting ourselves sink into this for a few deep breaths. Lifting ourselves up, walking nice and gently. We're going to bring one foot back and gently lunge into what's called a warrior one, using the chair for support. Now holding on to the chair with the left hand, if your left knee is forward, so the same knee that's forward, we're going to raise the opposite hand and bend over to the side, stretching the side body as well as the front of our hip. So breathe in nice and deep, stay nice and upright. And we're loosening that hip there, which can often lock up the back of our legs here, which pulls down at our back. So that is what's gonna help us here. As we said before, everything is connected. So breathing nice and deep, lunge into it deeper if that feels like it's releasing. And then relax, lift up, and we're gonna bring it to the other side. Lunging into a nice warrior one, raising that arm and lifting to the side. Taking a nice few deep breaths here. And last but not least, we're gonna finish with a nice forward fold because this is going to loosen the whole back body. And so you can use a chair for support, but I like to bring myself forehead to the chair, bending at the waist using it for support, letting my hand fall through, head fall through, and knees soften a little. And then when I feel ready, I extend my legs. And if you want to, you can begin to dangle your arms to the floor, side to side, letting it nice and loose. So don't worry about straightening your back. Don't worry about extending, just let gravity take over. Sway a little bit, take a few deep breaths here, maybe pedal your feet out. Feel where it feels like your body has tightness. Some people feel tightness up here. Some people feel it in their mid back, low back, glutes, sometimes behind their legs or even behind their calves. So feel where that feels like you have some tightness. And this is a great way to assess what your body needs. So gently lift yourself up one vertebra at a time. Inhale those arms up. Exhale back down. So after you do this stretch, you can begin to assess where your body is tight and what your body may need. This is just 10 minutes. So if you feel like you can do more, start this video over again and begin again. Sit a little longer in poses or maybe take a few more breaths in each one to help loosen up the body a little bit more and just feel what your body needs. If you can close your eyes and still with the breath, while keeping track of where your body's talking to you, where it's tight and tender, what seems like it likes the stretch more or needs more of, then you can really begin to assess and address where your body can relax more and how you can improve your posture even though you spend a lot of your time sitting or even though you feel like your posture might need a lot of improvement, doing this regularly can really help you out. So I hope you enjoyed this nice chair yoga video. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me.